Adreja, welcome back to my study room. In the previous video, we already talked about um, reaction with water, reaction with acid, reaction with bases, right? In the chemical properties of metals and non-metals. Today, we are going to learn a new topic that is displacement reaction. So what is displacement reaction? I'm going to explain it to you. But first, let's read out the definition. When a metallic salt solution reacts with another metal the more reactive metal displaces the less reactive metal this is known as displacement reaction so now i'm going to explain you with the help of an example okay as you can see an example is here what is the example copper sulfate plus iron gives iron sulfate plus copper i'm reading it out again copper sulfate plus iron is iron sulfate plus copper so what are we seeing in this reaction we see that at first it was copper sulfate and iron was alone right but after the reaction takes place what happens it becomes iron sulfate and copper becomes alone right first it was copper sulfate and iron and then it became iron sulfate and copper so what happened in this reaction here comes the topic activity series of metal what is activity series of metal it is actually the reactivity of a certain metals the reactivity of certain metals so what is it it is actually and in the top in the top it is the most reactive metal and in the bottom it is the less least reactive metal so what happens when when it comes to the bottom the reactivity decreases okay the reactivity decreases once it comes downwards okay so what is happening at the top it is the most reactive metal and at the bottom it is the least reactive metal so how does this activity series help us to learn displacement reaction so now what is the example over here we took copper sulfate iron gives iron sulfate plus copper right and here are two metals right copper and iron two metals are there copper and iron in this reaction so where are copper and iron present in the activity series of metal if you see it carefully then you will see that iron is placed above copper copper is present below hydrogen right but iron is present above hydrogen so iron is a uh, copper is below iron okay so what did we learn a, sec a minute ago we learned that as it reaches downwards the reactivity decreases so if iron is above copper so which is the more reactive metal iron is above copper right so iron is the more reactive metal as as it reaches downward the reactivity decreases right so copper is of course less reactive than iron iron is the more reactive metal and copper is the less reactive metal so what happens over here copper sulfate plus iron gives iron sulfate plus copper which is the more reactive metal iron is the more reactive metal so what does iron do iron takes the place of copper as iron is more reactive than copper so it joins with sulfate to form iron sulfate but copper is less reactive than iron so copper can't do anything so it unfortunately stays alone i'm telling you again first it was copper sulfate and iron as iron is more reactive than copper so it displaces it displaces copper and forms iron sulfate okay and copper as it is less reactive so it cannot again displace iron right so it stays alone so this is displacement reaction where a more reactive metal displaces a less reactive metal now let's read the definition and understand when a metallic salt solution metallic salt solution is copper sulfate it is a metallic salt solution okay reacts with another metal iron is a metal the more reactive metal displaces the less reactive metal okay the more reactive metal over here is iron the less reactive is copper so iron displaces copper so the more reactive metal displaces the less reactive metal that is what is written the more reactive metal displaces the less reactive metal this is known as displacement reaction this type of reaction where a more more reactive metal displaces a less reactive metal this type of reactions are known as displacement reaction example copper sulfate plus iron becomes iron sulfate plus 
copper okay and if you see copper sulfate was first blue and then iron sulfate turns green okay so if you see it in a solution then you will see the blue turns into green in color okay so this was an example now let's move to the next example that is magnesium plus sulfuric acid turns into magnesium sulfate plus hydrogen what are the symbols over here mg plus h2so4 it is sulfuric acid right and then turns into mgso4 plus h2 so now if you see over here in the activity series of metal magnesium is placed above hydrogen okay so magnesium is more reactive than hydrogen as it is placed above hydrogen so magnesium will be more reactive than hydrogen so what is happening magnesium plus h2so4 turns into mgso4 plus h2 so magnesium displaces hydrogen if you say it, it was h2so4 but after the reaction it became mgso4 so the h2 become alone and the mg joined with so4 right first it was sulfuric acid but then it became magnesium sulfate so what happened magnesium displaced hydrogen okay at first magnesium was alone it reacted with sulfuric acid it formed magnesium sulfate and hydrogen gas okay so this is another example of displacement reaction there are a lot of examples of displacement reaction for example copper sulfate plus zinc turns into zinc sulfate plus copper copper is less reactive than zinc so what happens um, zinc displaces copper copper sulfate at first it was copper sulfate and after the reaction it becomes zinc sulfate same just like the first one copper sulfate plus iron becomes iron sulfate plus copper and this one is copper sulfate plus zinc becomes zinc sulfate plus copper so this was displacement reaction i hope you understood it so now we are going to move to the next one that is uses of metals and nonmetals so we are just going to learn some of the uses of metals and nonmetals so how are metals used metals are used in a lot of ways right suppose we make wires electrical wires one example is copper um copper is used to make wires right electrical wires same with aluminum copper and aluminum are used to make wires to collect uh, to carry electric current right so there are metals these are some uses of metals why are metals used why are copper and aluminum used to carry electric current because they are good conductors of electricity okay we learned right in the physical properties they are good conductors of electricity so that's why copper and aluminum are mostly used mostly copper is used to carry electric current okay and then a lot of aluminum foil aluminum foil is used to wrap medicines food um, many many things right aluminum foil so it is also it is also a metal and then iron steel we use plate made up of steel right stainless steel so that is also a metal it is actually iron right so um we use iron and we use different types of metals to make different types of utensils and then gold silver these are used to make jewelry right gold and silver we wear earrings we wear rings these are all jewelry and these are all metals gold and silver are metals that they are used to make jewelry and we learned remember that zinc is used to prevent iron from rusting remember we learned it right in one of the previous videos that zinc is used to prevent iron from rusting how we coat a layer of zinc around the iron and what is the process known as it is known as galvanization right so it is another exam uh, it is another importance of zinc it is used to prevent iron from rusting how it is coated around the iron and the iron doesn't rust so these are some of the examples uh, these are some of the importance uses of metals there are a lot of uses okay metals are very useful in our day to day life okay these were some examples now let's move to non metals non metals are very useful we breathe in air we breathe in oxygen right oxygen is a non metal so think about it oxygen is so important to us we would not live without oxygen so non metal oxygen help us to breathe okay so non metal is very useful and then non metals are also used to make certain fire crackers the the thing that we play in diwali they are fire crackers non metals are used and then they are also used to make fertilizers okay they are also used to make certain fertilizers for plants and then oxygen helps in burning right without uh, oxygen anything cannot burn 
so oxygen is very important to start a fire oxygen is needed okay so if oxygen is not there we will not be able to start any kind of fire right so oxygen is also and this is another important point of oxygen and non metals are also used in the water purification process okay to purify water for example for example chlorine chlorine is used in the water purification process okay to purify water the water that we drink we need to purify the water before drinking it right so that that is where certain non metals are used so this were some uses of metals and non metals and with this we have completed the chapter metals and non metals i hope you understood this entire chapter in the next video we are going to be back with another interesting chapter so stay tuned and if you like this video click on like button and to get more videos like this click on subscribe button thank you